So the second step in using your dark characteristics is mindfulness. Looking at your dark characteristic um, that you want to work with, um, looking at it, breaking it down, and getting to know it very well. You, it's very hard to use something if you don't know it, if you don't know what it is. So, so first you take a look at, at your characteristic. Now, sometimes I like to look at my characteristics um, in meditation and sitting and just going deep within and taking a look at, at uh, what I have. And other times I like to write and uh, make bubble graphs and things with arrows going here and there and and uh, just writing and getting to know the characteristic I'm trying to work with through that. Um, and then I, I try to look at where the characteristic is coming from, where it's leading to, um, what kind of things built up this characteristic within me. Now, at, on that point, I will say that you're not looking for things to blame. You're just looking to get to know the characteristic. Like for me, I've spoken before about my anxiety and um, a big cause of my social anxiety was my sixth grade year. I moved to another town and uh, where I was, all the kids loved me at my old school um everybody hated me at the new school so it was dramatic and but you know i can't blame anybody for it it's it's just something it's part of me now and you know it's mine to work with so you don't want to look for scapegoats or anybody to blame in this process okay and then you look for, you dissect the the um, dark characteristic or the dark emotion that you have and look for each separate component in it and look for, um, again, where these components come from and where they lead to. Are they things that could potentially be beneficial? And that is the key right there. You find pieces of this dark characteristic that you can use. Now, I've said before that these characteristics carry with them a huge amount of energy. Um, and that energy can be, can be harnessed by using these, these components of the characteristic to your advantage. Um, an example of that is many times a uh, dark characteristic will be a motivator, something that can really push you to do to to ex to do great things. Um, and that the energy that the characteristic carries with them is just so immense it can it can push you to do things that in the end you look back and think, wow, I never would have thought I could have done that. Especially if you apply the, apply the energy towards something, okay, like with anxiety. With me, sometimes I'm just so full of this nervous tension about having to something that it involves going out amongst a lot of other people and so what I'll do is I'll use that energy to exercise. And that, that is a great way to deal with the energy, first of all. And it leads me to push myself and to sometimes do things that I, I never would have thought that I could have done before. And to kind of transcend where I'm currently at. On a, on a fitness level, like I'll be able to do 
some some type of a yoga balance uh, better than I was a week ago or so something like that and then that makes me feel more positive about myself so I've used a component of that dark energy to elevate myself and then I can go into the social situ situation and I may still feel a little bit nervous but not as bad as I was and I'll have that that little level of confidence to stand on so you know I'll do much better in my interactions and and that may end up being a, another thing that uh, that I feel good about going into a social situation and actually doing well with it and maybe making new friends if you can get yourself started building up um, on things like that it's very helpful and things will start to uh, improve exponentially um, and and good things will happen faster and faster in your growth okay so you, you look for where things begin look for where they they are leading to you dissect the characteristics find the components in them and how they, where they come from and where they are leading to if you and decide whether or not you can use them and that is that's basically it for taking a mindful look at your dark emotions there may be more to it for your personal um, e dark emotion or dark characteristic that you have but getting to know it you'll you'll find the, the other things in it that you can use so once again I hope uh, these videos have been helpful much love namaste